channel. We are so excited to be here with you today and to create an amazing three-day series for you. This entire week, we are getting crafty and we are going to share with you guys exactly how to have Christmas in July. So to end out Christmas in July, we are going to be able to share with you guys some really adorable projects this entire week. And to celebrate Christmas in July, we are bringing you an amazing Christmas in July yearly membership sale for our Makers Gonna Learn membership. So if you guys would like to join the Makers Gonna Learn membership and say $20, feel free to use the coupon code MAKE at checkout and join the membership. We have had so much fun over the past weekend. We, Becca and I, was hosting the 2020 Summer Summit. Ew. And a lot of you guys I'm seeing were actually there I love seeing you guys again. You just yes. can't get enough. It's never. fantastic. Never, <laughs> never, never. It was so good. Um, we crafted all weekend. People uh -huh. were making things. People were sharing. People were just taking it all in. And now we are ready to do some Christmas in July crafting. Last year, especially, you guys really enjoyed what we had in store. So today, I wanted to kind of bring together a few of my favorite trends. Um, obviously, we want to get ready for Christmas together. Christmas is still happening. No matter how we have to do it, we are not canceling. No Christmas! So we're gonna make the best out of it. So I thought, why not? Everyone can turn away from worrying, turn off the news and go ahead and start getting ready for crafting with Christmas. So I'm really excited today, my friends. Um, hello, Paige says Summit was best. Yay, Paige killed it. She made so many projects. We put it in our company group chat just so Rachel could see how many projects Paige made. It was, it was crazy. Incredible, it was impressive. Yeah, yes. we were. Um, and the quality, it's not like, you know, a lot of times people will try to get stuff done really quick and then like the quality will suffer, but yeah. like Paige's looked um, amazing. So we were, I was in the car flipping through the pictures or Blake was on his phone and he said, oh my gosh, Becca did such a good job with all these summit projects, like really recreating them. I said, cause you sent the photos. Oh, in and the Be group, yeah. And, Blake, and I said, Blake. Why would I recreate them first of all? I said, Blake, honey. <laughs> Becca didn't make these. A member did. Like, and he was like shocked. He, he was shocked. So oh my we love it. So funny. Hello, Catherine. So seriously, guys, we're so excited. If you're brand new to Makers Gonna Learn, we are a digital die cutting community with over 7,300 members. What the heck? Love you guys. Um, but if you're not already a member, you're not getting the benefits of true membership. If you love your die cutting machine, whether you have a Cricut, Air, Cricut Explorer, Cricut Maker, whatever you may have, um, you will find a benefit in this membership with over 3,000 cut files, over 300 fonts, and so much more. So we love it. You guys can go ahead and join. I know a lot of you guys know about our membership but have been waiting for that coupon code to save a little bit. Consider this your push. So today we're making some adorable gift tags Courtney actually designed. Um, I'm so excited because Courtney and I both met as paper crafters. We are tried and true card makers. I do have to say I'm a not a current card maker, but um, a veteran of the card making, <laughs> um, especially with Cricut. So as you all know, stamping is so big when it comes to Cricut and, um, or comes to card making, but it's very hard to pair stamping with your die cutting machine in this day and age with everything. So what we thought would be fun was to try to get heat embossing to work with Cricut. So here's what we are doing today. We're gonna to teach you how to heat emboss with your Cricut. It is possible, so get excited. We're using the basic Ranger um, emboss boss it kit. So this is for great for hand lettering, personalized gifts, doodling, and tracing. We're actually gonna use this straight into clamp A of our Cricut today. So if you've never seen someone use a tool or something in the Cricut that is not, um, you know, a Cricut pen, today's gonna be the day for that, okay? And then we're also going to use the heat embossing. So if you've never heat embossed, you're saying, Tanner, I feel left out. It is where you take this beautiful, um, you know, different pieces, you can get them and get the powder in white, you can get the powder in, powder in gold, and then we have it in black, so every color, really. Um, and we're just going to work with it together. So what it is, is this acts as the glue, then you put the powder on it, and then it's gonna stay put. Then you get my handy handy uh, emboss it heat gun and this will be able to heat set it and then it becomes nice and thick and kind of glossy. So if I could have the second camera, I'll kind of show them just so they can get an idea of what this really looks like. Oh my gosh, look at look at the gold, look at the gold. We have the white, oh, 
in the joy. So we used it in all three of these beautiful ones. You can see here, we, this is the one we're going to build today together. Um, so these are different tags that you're going to be able to work on together. You have the base, then you have the second layer, and then the heat embossed part. So this is a, pretty much three steps for each one. Um, I love Becca. So cute. And the this little was, snow on the trees. Oh my gosh. The, the bow. and the, Just I mean, so cute. Courtney used red, I'm shocked, but it's so pretty. I know. Courtney is not a traditional fan of red. If you guys are new here, um, Courtney's my fiance and she's our creative director and does not appreciate red like we do, um, but she used it. So you, you for this example, you could just use the pen to draw wherever you wanted mm -hmm. that snow um, and it would go on really well. And then what I wanted to also point out is that if you do smaller fonts like this, you're gonna see it's just not as easy to read right. as if you just focus it on the bigger ones. Mm -hmm. So this is our most successful one, and this one is a really easy one that you could streamline and do a lot of. So once you design it, then you're able to crank out 20 of these in one evening or something like that. So how many of us are ready to get Christmas in July crafting? I know I am. This is so much fun. We have, uh, like I said, three days of videos. We're going to come with you today, tomorrow, and Wednesday um, to share with you guys some really awesome projects. And it's going to be really good. So we have a lot of Christmas in July happening and Becca what what is everyone saying do we have any questions is there anything we no need to... real questions okay. sparkle dumpster says maybe I'll put on home alone after this which sparked me to ask you what is your favorite Christmas movie Ooh, my favorite Christmas movie yeah we never talked about this no we I, haven't I no I really love the home alone series but I guess like this isn't my favorite, but it's Courtney's favorite, and it would just be like classic Elf. We I was love, gonna say Elf is our Elf. favorite yeah, at the Oaks home. It's, yeah, you, you just get in such the Christmas spirit watching Elf. Um, I love a lot of Christmas movies. I don't know any of any Christmas movie I couldn't get on board okay, with. Okay, okay. I'm pretty much on board with all of the. My Christmas kids movies. love the Jim Carrey Grinch. I'm not a <gasps> okay, massive fan, okay. but I've grown to not hate it. Yeah, yeah. Polar um, Express is a good oh, one. Oh yeah, the kids love, love that the Polar one. Express. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's there's a lot of really good ones. I cannot wait. Um, I think this Christmas we want to go ahead and you know get excited. So. Um, Oh, what Cricut machine do you think will last the longest and be easiest to use to make nice projects while traveling? Okay, I'm going to argue the Cricut Explorer Air 2. Me too, me too. For the price point, for the lightweight, and for the versatility. Yes. That is my argument. I'm sticking to it. I agree. Um, the Cricut Maker will hold up, but it will be a little bit more expensive and not as easy to travel with. You mm. throw in travel and you might think that you need our beautiful little joy friend here. I do not think for the money you're going to get the value out of it. That is my personal thoughts. You can watch my entire almost hour long comparison video or not comparison, review yes. um, and first look of the Cricut Joy. Uh, has over 100,000 views, so you may have already checked it out. But um, if you, I still am pretty much, every thought I had in that video has pretty much come to, to, come to lot. So the people rushing to order them, I think are looking back um, and kind of not using it as much as they thought. And that's totally fine. But for people that are, you know, at this point, just get an Explorer too. They're great machines. I mean, if, if space is an issue, then Joy obviously is a lot smaller. Yes, but, yes. but an Air 2, oh my gosh. And I did a comparison of the three, the Maker yes. the Air 2 and the Joy. And that was sort of what, you know, I landed on too, was the Air 2 was just a great machine. Because another thing people don't talk about with the Maker is, I was actually on a call today and I was mentioning that, that you can't rely on the knife blade as much as you could the fine point blade. Correct. Anything that you say you can cut with a fine point blade, you know you're gonna get a really crisp, crisp line, right? So if the knife blade's not included, then the other tool that the maker has that the Explorer 2 does not is that rotary blade. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, obviously Becca crafts a little bit different than I do. I do not find myself using it more than a few times a month, if, if that. If See, that. I use it a lot. So, so this but is I, a great thing felt. to have. You yeah, love felt, felt material. Yeah. So that I mean, the maker is great when it comes to that. So right. you've really got to look at you know what you do, what you want to do, um, and kind of go from there. So yes, I love great it. question. Love it. Great, great question. Always love those questions here at Maker's Gonna Learn. So again, if you're just tuning in, we do have our twenty dollars off coupon code make that is Christmas in July week so you can go ahead and use that coupon code if you need to snatch that year membership we would love for you to join us over 3,000 cut files three courses if you're a Cricut newbie you're gonna love it we also have our printable guides that I love to love to promote here I, I keep it very close to my heart as I craft um, 
So it's really good too. So yay, but we are so, so excited and jingle all the way. Oh, I love it. Okay. Christmas vacation, someone Christmas said. Christmas vacation. Which is definitely in my top five. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. The Home Alone whole franchise of like, I'm what is it? I'm not a massive Home Alone fan. The Home Alone one is so good. I can watch oh, it like in the middle. I can watch it like on a plot. The robbers really are so greasy and slimy and I just don't like them. Yeah. There's I a lot going like on them. with that movie now that you think <laughs> about it. Elf is such a classic. And it is. It's really good. So we love it. But if you guys are excited, let's go ahead and take a look at Design Space on how you can build all three of these awesome tags. And then we'll be able to kind of share with you guys exactly how to do it. So this right here is what we've got going on. Now, obviously, we do have three different tag options today. So just like you saw um, earlier in the video, we shared with you all three of them. Um, that is what we're going to share with you guys, how to recreate this joy one. And then we're actually going to make this one. So it's going to be really good to see how you're able to do that. Um, first things first, you're going to want to go to makersgonnalearn.com and download this one right here, um, which is just our, our little ornament. Um, which is really good. And you can find all of these in the Christmas category area of the website if you need that. So just go ahead over to the Christmas category and check all these out. We literally have like, I want to say over, almost, close to a thousand Christmas cut files. So guys, we really come and show out when it comes to all of the Christmas cut files we have. They're amazing. And then next you're going to want to download our nativity. You can just search nativity and find this cut file. And then you will need to be a yearly member for our fonts. So that is on sale today, like we've talked about. Um, you have to be a year member to get our fonts. A lot of people, guys, we have a, over 70, 80% of our members are um, yearly members. But I get emails every single day saying, Tanner, why can't I get to fonts? And I'm, I have to let them know that unfortunately they are not a yearly best value member. So we want to give you the most and have you save the most money. So your membership will go down to like $15 or $14 a month um, compared to almost $20 a month if you pay it in one lump sum. So it's a great savings. And today you can save that extra $20 with the coupon code bank. So anywho, we're using the cold outside font. So that's really fun. So what we're going to do is we're going to, just for simplicity's sake, we're going to say, hey, the back of our little card, we are going to cut in blue. So let's go ahead and change that to blue. So we're gonna click here and change that to blue. And then our second one, we want it to be kind of like that craft card stock color, right? So we're gonna change it to craft. So there we go. We have those two right here. Crystal Williams says, being a yearly member is the best and so worth the money and exclamation, exclamation times like 10. So I love that. So if she loves it, you guys know you're gonna love it too. <gasps> Paige is selling the membership too. If you are not a member, join today. Seriously, it was the best decision in 2020. Not only amazing resources and files, but um, I can't read. The community it. is priceless. Oh, yay, thank you. Oh my gosh, Paige, you're amazing, amazing. Um, and just everything. So yes, everyone is, um, selling the membership i don't we don't even have to Becca. i love that about our members <laughs> i do too i mean okay. so next up what we have is the nativity so you have duplicated this file right so we're going to take our nativity and we need to go ahead and hide the back layer so we don't need this red um, unfortunately so we're going to take that and then we'll have our little nativity so we're going to drag this up here and you're like okay this is a little big so we can size it down and then I'm going to unlock it and kind of stretch it out just a tad bit, just like so. And then as you guys can see, um, we are able to have quite a bit going on. Now you may be saying, Tanner, I want to be able to see how much they're overlapping. So you can just click arrange, send to front, and there you go. So now what you're going to do is you're going to select both of these layers. Okay, my friends, we're going to select both of these layers. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to weld. How many of us have welded before? Are we nervous about welding? If we have any brand new cricketers, let me know so that we can make sure to make sure we're crafting together. So this right here, we're now going to weld. You can only weld two layers at one time. So now that you've laid layered two layers together at one time, we are just going to click weld. And as you can see, it's quickly turning these, this, all these images into one beautiful, beautiful image. 
So, Tanner, let me interrupt you really quickly. Go for it. Um, one thing that I liked to do when I was a new cricketer um, and the idea of welding scared me was I would, like, duplicate the two things that I was getting ready to weld and kind of move them over to the side. Yeah. And that way I already had them if, you know, if for some reason I needed to your refer five back steps to them. Too. Yeah. yeah. So, one yeah. thing Becca was just talking about. Now, obviously, we love the undo button. So, let's right. say I realized that this was wrong and I was scared and, you know, this wasn't good. Let's just press undo. And we're back. So what Becca liked to just was just sharing, whoopsie. I, I love this undo button, y'all. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so what she does is, you know, especially beginning, if you need this and you may not feel comfortable and you may need it later, just select both of them and click duplicate. So you can then take that, just hide it right here. Um, so then you can weld this just like so. We're gonna select both layers. And remember, only two can be layered at a time. Uh, if you're new to Cricut, Makers Can Learn is the best deal for all the knowledge the group has to offer, plus the help when we ask. I love it. And then Miss Jen says, I'm new and still trying to understand the difference between attach and weld. Well, I'm so excited that you asked because guess what we're about to do? We are about to attach. So get ready for this. So remember I said we're using a font today. Today's font we are featuring is Cold Outside. This is a Makers Gonna Learn exclusive font. It has the snowflakes, very festive, am I right? And this is what we actually want to use our embossing pen with. So what we're gonna do is we're actually not cutting with that. We are going to draw. So I, was it Miss Jen who was asking about yes. this? Mm -hmm. Okay, so notice we just turned it to draw. So it's gonna create this outline, really awesome. Um, and then we're going to place it where we need it. Before that, we're going to click Arrange, Send to Front, and now we're going to arrange it here. And I'm going to zoom in because I don't know about y'all, I can't see. <laughs> Ta-da! Okay. So we're going to size it. Now, the question here is the difference between attach and weld. So attach is like a paper clip. It's very easy to undo, which is a great perk. Um, weld is very permanent. So this is one layer. So this turns two layers into one. If we weld these two layers right here, look what's about to happen. You see that? It's now one, it's one, okay? So if we click undo and we leave this joy just like we have it here, heck, we could even group it together. Let's go ahead and group it together so you can kind of walk with me on this. So we've grouped it together. You've told Cricut that you want it grouped. So you may think, Tanner, when I click make it, joy is going to cut out right where we want it, right? So watch what is gonna happen when we click make it. So joy is now on its very own map to be drawn, okay? There is no shape, there's nothing. So watch why we need to attach what will happen for our project. So we're gonna now go ahead and change it to attach. And the thing about group is, guys, group is only for design space. Once you press make it, anything you've grouped together is irrelevant. Attach is go take whatever it looks like on design space. It's go take it to that map with you. So now when you click make it, you're going to see as we scroll down over here that both of these that we have on the map today and we have one ready to go on the side. That's why there's two, so don't get worried. Um, they're going to draw and cut. So over here it says draw and cut. On the same mat. On the same mat mm -hmm. in the same spot you've placed it. That's the power of attach. Welding is when you need to really, it's, I mean, it's truly what it is. It's a very permanent um, task that is to be done. And now, you know, we, we had these as two separate cut files, but now you see the weld result shows it's one. So that's really handy. So we've attached that and now we have our tag. And Becca, that was, that's how easy it is. Yeah, like, I, there's so a, easy. <laughs> it's really simple. So just to recap what we're doing, is we're cutting, we're cutting out one tag, okay, in blue cardstock, thicker the better for tags like this. You wanna have a nice quality tag. So this is going to cut out in blue. Then we're going to put in our embossing pen. It's going to draw our heat embossing ink, and then it's going to cut out this right here. So really, really fun, and I love it. So yay! Oh, Carol also gives a suggestion to keep another tab open so she can download the cut file and fonts that she sees during the lab. How fun. So great idea. And that's how easy it is, guys, with all of these. You build it once, you're able to save this project and come back to it and start preparing however many you may need for that entire holiday season. So very simple. 
We can delete that out. And now we have these right here. So since we're just going to build one today, I'm going to hide these others. Um, and I'll just be able to click hide. And guys, if you can do one of these, then you can do all of them. Exactly, uh, exactly. It's just welding, you know, welding the graphic to the actual mm -hmm. ornament for all of them and then um, attaching the uh, text to the front of the other part. Yeah, if you that notice easy. here, if you notice here, let, let's look at these two together. So you have the tag um, that we started with. All of these are the, using the same base. The only difference here is your font and your image inside and the colors. Mm -hmm. So you can use a snowflake, you can use a nativity, you can use the trees, whatever that may look like. It's so simple and if you want, you could even use that area to put the name if you wanted, but we wanted to be a little bit more crafty. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's it's very, very simple um, to go ahead and take this. And Megan, if you um, are curious on the embossing pin, we're about to talk about it because we actually have to do a little extra, a little extra step or two um, to prepare for our material for cutting. So let me go ahead and hide these because um, we're only using one today. And then Esther says, can I get a template to purchase? So my friend, you know, sometimes here at Makers and Learn, we kind of intentionally, you know, our goal here is to, one of the things we talk about is not making one step projects. We love to give you guys some really awesome design ideas and this is how you're able to truly take fonts take cut files and morph it together so the goal here is to inspire you guys to go out and either design these exactly or you will be able to go ahead and you put know, your own create, spin on it put your own spin on it do whatever you want and did you curve the joy font we did not actually you easily could have um, before we attached it so that's a simple simple fun way to kind of take it to that next, le next level um, and then, are there any project fails on this channel? Ooh. Oh, refer to front or when was my live? <laughs> Which Third one? Wednesday? <laughs> refer to last Wednesday's live where I did a massive, oh wonderful craft film. <laughs> there, yes, if, there, we bury them. <laughs> we do. <laughs> okay, sorry, I got too excited. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna be able to draw and cut, but before we draw and cut, um, what we're going to want to do is prepare our cardstock. So what I mean by that, if I could have the second camera, I'll sorry, kind of no, 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 you're all good. We're gonna walk you guys through what that means for today. So we're using these awesome um, heat embossing pins. So we did have our friend Megan ask what what these were. So this is how we're able to draw, um, have the Cricut draw with us. We're using these pins to draw, and then we're using this powder. So we're actually going to use the black powder today on the project. So this is literally, guys, like this is so cool. Let's take a look. It's literally powder um, that we're going to be able to um, put on. So you use the pin as kind of like a glue pin. It's a very um, specific adhesive. And then you put the powder on it. But here's the thing. A lot of people get a little bad results. Let me show you one of our not perfect, not bad, but not just perfect. So you see those dots of white? Those are dots that we couldn't get off. So like right here, that's from static. That's actually not from the pin or anything. So how to avoid that is you want to use, I have two materials you can use. You can, you can do the $8 way like I did today, or you can do the free way. How many of us have leftover dryer sheets in the dryer? If you have a used dryer sheet, Please use this and not spend the $8. I just bought this for the comparison on if you're a hard paper crafter, I didn't want you to come for me. So let me open this right here. They're pretty much the same. And yes, I used to use and still do use the dryer sheet actually. So I'm not just saying it. Um, it will work just as well. So this is just an anti-static pad that we're going to remove any static from our um, paper so that it's going to give us the best results for heat embossing. Again, guys, my recommendation for anyone at home that wants to heat emboss, just use a dryer sheet. It will work just as well. So we're going to take our cardstock we're going to use today. I like to do this when it's already on the mat. So I'm going to already put it on the mat. And you can get static. I mean, Becca, how many places could they get static from? Like, it, it could be anywhere. So, oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah, so you just want to be careful and mindful. Like me just putting this down on the mat, that's why I'm going to do it the last step because I don't want to touch it after. And then you just use the static pad to make sure no statics on my cardstock. I do like to keep these in a Ziploc bag just like I like to keep the um, dryer sheet that I use. And you can use one dryer sheet for like months. Like, seriously, wear it out. Okay, so anti-static. 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the um, clear heat embossing pen. It comes in white and black, and this is the kit from Ranger if you guys need it. Um, and now we'll be able to just put this in the Cricut over here. So we've loaded that mat in. And then if you want, could you give me the, it's on, um, if it's connected. It is, oh, perfect, let me see what we can, oh, awesome, awesome. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this pin um, and we're gonna open it up. And this was just a little trial we did um, and it ended up working, so hopefully it'll work for you guys too. You just wanna pop it in there, looks good. So it's in. Um, and we're going to select some thick cardstock. We're going to go more pressure and fast mode, sure. So, Becca, <coughs> the, the, what what setting start cardstock should I use? Because I know sometimes this doesn't this one doesn't cut through too well. I, I'm using medium cardstock with more pressure. That should be great. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna press the flash and create button. Sometimes this worries me, but we like to get our value out of our mat. Um, yeah, that mat seemed more sticky when I put it. You want me to grab another one? No, we'll, we'll give it a good test. I, um, we I did have a friend ask a, a question, and I sort of touched on it, but I want to elaborate Go, a little yes, bit. Please. Um, still a newbie with Cricut, but can designs created in Design Space be exported as a PDF or JPEG? <sighs> oh, Unfortunately, that's a, no. It's a hot topic. Yeah, so you can definitely like screenshot your Design Space element. We like to. Um, you know, turn off the grids from the canvas and design space and then screenshot that way. Um, but we do recommend if you're going to be doing any sort of designing um, or, you know, elaborate um, type of design elements that you want to save, do that in a third party app like Illustrator or um, Inkscape or something and then save it and import into design space that way. So, yes, very. When Cricut really likes to keep the Cricut ecosystem in the Cricut ecosystem, um, they're very, you'll learn as you Cricut more and more, they're very particular when it comes to stuff like that um, for whatever reason we're not we're not too sure so they really like to stay in their own world and guys I just wish you could see what I see right now it looks so good I can do the B cam and you can well uh, I it's can okay move it over or not it's okay yeah. um, it's the, just the just to know the pin is working really well um, so you're gonna I think be very impressed with this project I'm gonna try to make sure Tanner have you thought about coming out with a vinyl line or other products for the Cricut <gasps> oh what a great question so my friends um, as you guys know I only believe in doing what we're extra good at and what we're really good at is teaching and creating awesome digital programs so at this time we are very happy just working away on that and supporting amazing products that we know are best I, you know until until there's a need and a special product that we need that we don't have so maybe, great question. Look at that, so that's that. We have to work fast because this is wet and if it dries, you're, it's not going to work. So this right here is already static ready. We're going Pull to- Pull it up a little bit, Tanner. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to now just take the powder. You do want to work pretty quickly. Notice I'm pouring a ton. It's totally fine because we're going, I have this handy dandy piece of paper. And then what's going to happen here? So we're going to dump it and you're going to see what has happened. Look, do you see any static pieces? This is when you're able to Kind of take your finger, blow on any pieces, and if you're good. That looks good. I know, I'm so excited. This Ms. is Shana so says, easy. hi, joined your yearly membership yesterday. Yay, welcome, welcome, welcome. Amazing. So now you're just gonna take this right here and heat set it, and you're just gonna wanna let it get hot enough. You'll see it actually, um, let's see if you guys can see it. Can you guys see what's happening? It's going glossy real quick. It's hard because it's black. Yeah. yeah. But look, I'll be able to touch it here really soon. So it goes from it's from powder to being heat set, and it's beautiful. Oh, so pretty! Oh my oh goodness! Oh my god! Look! Oh snap! Guys, notice we had to work really quick, but you can I do this. That. This is not even a Cricut tool. Oh, so fun! I can't believe it. Like I was worried that you would not be able to get like streamlined results, but uh -huh. I definitely think. <clears throat> It's streamlined enough to where you're going to. So I think have in the, the other one, Courtney actually filled it in, and I actually like the outline. I do too. I didn't want to say it, but I, I do like too. It. I mean, Courtney's is great too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Well, the thing is, I get worried about with heat embossing, yeah. you have to work really quick. Right. Um, so if you guys can see the difference, I didn't fill mine in, Courtney did. I love that. I know, I know, it looks so good. It kind of, you know, really helps. So. I'm really, really good. So Miss Terry says, for those of you on the fence about the membership, I have attended five classes and both pro <gasps> classes never have a repeat class. They actually build on previous learned skills. Yes. And we love that review. Oh, what a review. I love it. So for the kit, because I think this is really going to help you guys, um, it's the Emboss It Pins Kit. You're going to get the, white, the clear pin, which we use today. You're going to get the black pin. Um, and then what we also recommend to grab is a dryer sheet from the laundry and then the heat embossing color of choice. And then last but not least is a heat embossing gun, which you may spend a little money on investing in the beginning, but you'll find that this is actually really great to use to help paint dry faster and an all around crafter's dream. It's very big and mixed media and things like that. I love that kit right there. That I know that's everything. with How the, much with is the heat it? gun. $37.99. <gasps> and it's from Ranger. Yeah, I'm, Ranger's I'm, the I'm linking best. it right now. Yeah, Ranger has amazing products, so we love it. Can you make this ornament on the chipboard with the embossing? No, Tara, please use the thick chipboard from Cricut or something like that. Yeah. That cuts well. This will work on anything, my friends. I love, I'm honestly shocked. Like, Courtney is so good. I'm literally shocked at how easy it is to do this project. I'm very excited for my friends that want to find easy ways to make tags because you're gonna be pretty blown away. Megan, you can, away. yeah, you can use any heat gun that you have. Yes. Um, I, we, what we were talking about, um, I just linked a couple a comments kit. ago, oh. a kit that has a heat gun, it has um, silver and gold um, awesome. embossing powder, and then both of the pins, it's $37.99 for that. So How much was just my pin kit at the Hobby Lobby? Where's my pin? Was it not $8.99 just so. for the pins? I think so. That's what I'm trying to figure out here. Let me put the lid on. Let me, oh, this is what I was gonna share with you guys. After it's always heat set, you wanna have a piece of cardstock or something. So look, all this extra, ta-da. What's our posting schedule, Tanner? <gasps> well, tra traditionally, every day, Monday through Friday at 1.30, you're either gonna have a video or um, organic video from us. This week, um, we are going to be live Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday um, at 1.30. And then- um, It's Tuesday, 1.30? We so we moved it back to 1.30. Okay, um, they moved my meeting. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> um, sorry. Um, and then, yeah, so 1.30, Monday through Friday, you'll either find a, a recorded video or a live stream here with us. Mm -hmm. um, so that's really, really fun. But yeah, tr normally you would find us live Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. But this week you're getting us Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So we just try to stick to 1.30 on each weekday. So now we've loaded it in for our second layer. This is the easy layer, y'all. This is like, we've already did the crazy fun part. So now we're just going to do the basic part. So we're just gonna cut through that. And Carol says, a heat gun worth the investment or does a blow dryer work well? Carol, the, you cannot use a heat, a hair dryer for this because it doesn't get hot enough, unfortunately. Um, I wish the hair dryer would work, but the hair dryer is letting out so much heat from this. This is letting out like this much heat. So it's letting out a lot more heat. And that's why I say is it's, I think it's worth investing because I use it for more than just heat embossing. I use it for painting, staining. I, I find a lot of uses for this. I use it for done. shrinky dinks. Becca shrinky used it for dinks. shrinky dinks, mm -hmm. which was in a, was that a pro class? Yeah. Yeah. You will really like that pro project. Um, um, another question, what does the black pin from the set, what is it used for? Is it the same use as the white? So here's the deal about the white and black. I've never used a black embossing pin. I don't know why. I've only ever used clear ink when it comes to heat embossing, but they, they have it. So I could have used it since I'm using black embossing yeah. powder. Mm -hmm. um, maybe if you want to be able to, maybe it's for people that need to see better. So like for the pins you're able to do hand lettering and things and then heat emboss it so that it's the same technique i think just because you can see it better because you'd cover it up with embossing powder anyway so i don't think it really matters i don't think so either yeah. but it's nice they give you two so okay so here's our second layer um we've got our our mat right here and then you can just peel it up so we're gonna grab this and you guys can see how um, intricate this layer is and obviously couldn't be a standalone tag because it's a little a little flimsy right well what's gonna happen is this is the base and then you add in the second layer look at this guys 
how easy would it be to just build a bunch of these really quickly? Like, I love this idea. So what we're going to do now is grab our ATG gun. And guys, there's so many project products when it comes to paper crafting. I know, it's that crazy. That like, need a testimonial video of their own. Yeah. This is the Scotch Advanced Tape Glider. We love the Scotch Advanced Tape Glider. It used to be ATG gun. It used to be red. Um, today, it's not. They have it at pink. You can grab it at Hobby Lobby or uh, Michael's and use a coupon. So that's a little fun hack. Um, so it's just a lot better when it comes to draw adhesive than anything you'll ever be able to find. So you could use um, something else, but I love the ATG gun and it saves you a lot of money in the long run. Paper and I'm going to link that for you all too. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we have this here. Just want to line it up, lay it down. Anastasia says, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Is this just for people that have a Cricut? Oh my gosh, you could make this if you had any die cutting machine, honestly, because we give you all the cut files. So that's a great question. You know, we have people all the time ask, you know, is your membership just for people with a Cricut? No, because you could do the same exact process, cut all this out with your brother scan and cut. With any of your, you know, your favorite um, die cutting machines, you would be able to do this project too. So now that you have your little adorable, adorable tag built, guys, you can now pick out what ribbon you want to accent it and kind of do whatever you want. So we're just going to cut off this piece right here. And then I want to take a look at how um, it was threaded through because look at how adorable this she was. did like a lark's on it. Oh, I'm going to pretend I know what that is. We're just fold going to fold, fold in this in half. And then put that through the hole. Love it. Like from the back? Either way. Okay. Back or front. Yeah. It's a little, <laughs> got quite a bit of a... Uh, I know. I don't know how she got it in there without ripping right? it. Right? She's going to have to come on and share some yeah. secrets. Oh, oh, it's not as bad as you think. Okay. Two pieces of cardstock. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh, and now I'm going yeah. kind of the wrong way. I'll fix it real quick. It doesn't matter. No, yeah, we'll, we'll do it the other way. Okay. Ta-da. Okay, so we're going to th th feed this through. I like your hat, Tanner. Oh my gosh, this is our this is our uh, property hat. It literally says Bell Property Management. Have I not worn this on a live stream before? I don't think I have. I don't remember. Um, anyway, I love this hat. It's black. It's leather. It's easy to wear. Um, yeah, thanks for thanks for the. Noticing. Okay. So I'm just threading this through. It is really thick, um, so I'm going a little slower. Um, and then what you could do is we're just go be able to tie this back here. I'm really intrigued with what she did. So let's take a look. So she thread, put it through um, and then created this little, oh my. She is risky, Becca. Courtney is risky. I know. This is because delicate. when you tighten that, it's, it's gonna delicate. be like, no. I know. I don't oh know how she did gosh. that. Gosh, I'm nervous. I am nervous, guys. I would not do this with this thick of uh, ribbon, but listen, you guys know Courtney. She's a little. She's a little risky. She's risking it for the biscuit. So anyway. Uh, someone said, what did I call that? It's called a lark's head knot. Some people call it a cow hitch knot too. So, As I just ripped it completely <laughs> right off as we were talking Did she about. cut hers in half or something? Is the ribbon cut in half? It is. It's narrower. She... <laughs> so to answer the question before, yes, we do have craft fails. But this is not a fail for him. This is not. Because here's, this is not his fault. Here's, this, here's the deal. Here's the deal. Where's the scissors? I need scissors. This is going to be beautiful. Oh, uh, this is perfect. Uh-huh. Okay, and now we're going to get back to the show. Where? Oh, I have a hot glue gun yeah. on the table. We're going to save this. We're going to take our piece of ribbon. We're going to create something very simple. If I could separate these two, I could have just put it in between. You can. It's ATG. That's true. Um, let's see. Well, I want to make mine thin, too, because it looks better. So I'm going to fold this in half. 
The reason why. How did I not notice that that was there? How did I not either, Becca? I will take full blame for this. <laughs> That's so funny. So if you ever need a little creativity, um, always take your ribbon and you can kind of just cut it in half. So it's so funny. Generally with these lives, like Rachel or I will help prep them. Um, and so we know what we've done and can kind of give Courtney pointers. But none really of us good. were watching what Courtney was doing when she was yeah, prepping these. I love it. I love it. Hashtag real Yay! Life. Yay! Okay. Okay. We don't need that much. Anyway. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I think I'm going to like this better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you I like it better no matter what. Um, okay. So we'll flip this over to the back. And we're just going to... Eat the low. Oh my gosh, Leah or Leia, I don't know how you pronounce it. I'm sorry. She said, I'm going to make these for my grandkids' Christmas gifts with their names we exchange Christmas Eve. They can take them home and put them on the tree. I have 17 Stop grandkids. Stop it. I need to start in July. Yes, you do. Uh, Get yeah. on it. <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Okay, I'm going to let the hot glue, uh, hot glue gun heat up real quick. Um, but while I do that, I may consider just using it in the middle right here. So yeah, look at this. Guys. So this is one reason that I like ATG um, friends, the double-sided dry adhesive yeah. because you can actually undo it sometimes, sometimes. and then even roll it off. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. It's very forgivable, which yeah. I like about paper crafting too. Um, but I'm just going to use a little hot glue so that yeah, we have I think some it's stability. A good, I think it's, it's a good really plan. Good. Yeah, it's going to be really, really good. Um, but yes, so let us know how everything is going. And another thing was when I first saw these, I kind of thought they were ornaments. So yeah. what I'm turning mine into is definitely more of an ornament. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm going to have it a little bit of ornament style. This is a little bit more tag style. You guys can see it's very fun. <laughs> Carol says, get the UTG. <gasps> Christy may be moving to Sevierville. We're going to be neighbors. What? How did I miss neighbors. that? I don't know. Where is it? You were too busy looking up the knots. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I was. It's up at the top. It's up at the top. Um, uh -huh. Her fiber, yeah, her fiber was thinner, Leah. You're, you're on it. I was not. I was not. That's so funny. Um, but yes, so we're very, very excited. Chrissy, have you been to Severable before? I'm curious. I'm we love Severable. We go there all the time. We really do. I'm actually camping there this weekend. <gasps> Becca's a camper, y'all. She sure am. Always going, 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 going. With, oh, and we made... Or, or I say we. I guess I did help. Anna made her bucket yesterday. Yes. So now y'all and me yeah. are twinning. Uh, Michaela said, oh my gosh, <gasps> I got a job at Michael's, which means, Michaela, you'll never come home with a paycheck. <laughs> I was about to say, Michaela can give us the discount. <laughs> yes, I don't even know. Like, oh my gosh. Um, you'll never have a paycheck, my friend, because you're going to be seeing even more things to buy um, and giving more ideas. But guys, look at all these adorable tags that you can do. Let me know which one you're going to want to make and which is going to match your, like, do you have a special holiday vibe? Because if you don't, we need to be planning that. Um, I think me and Becca have been talking about like Christmas themes for the year. Yes, we, we have. Pick. I'm so excited, but we can't narrow. I think we've yeah. narrowed it down to four. Four. We're going. Yeah, we have four different ones, and we're probably gonna let you guys choose in the group which one is is the best. So let us know. Like, does one of these resonate with you or anything like that? Because it's a really great. Um, all of these are really awesome, and we love them all. So um, definitely let us know if there's one of these that you love the most. What colors you normally do in Christmas? Would you like to see a traditional Christmas? I feel like last year. There was a lot of people that was more traditional than how, what we wanted to go with. I'm going like colorful Christmas at home. So like fun textures, felt, sort of jewel tones, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, and I think Anna is too. So Ooh. there's just so many different options. There are. There really yeah. are. Oh, Michaela, Tanner, you got me stuck on the black and white plaid. Listen. Yeah. I, yeah. I know. I love it. I love it's it. It's good. Um, I've been to Gatlinburg. I did st shop at the Sevierville Outlets in November. Okay. Well, oh, at Tanger. Tang okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, Tanger's where we get like a bun. I mean, we shop there all the time. All the time. All the time. Um, Shannon says she's about 30 minutes from Sevierville. Where do you live, Shannon? Yeah, let us know where you live, Shannon. Wow. You're like a local. Yeah. Literally neighbors. Literally neighbors. Okay. We have so many good... Um, Restaurant choices. I was about to say food recommendations. Oh my gosh. Local goat. Local goat. Oh, go so to good. the melting pot. Yeah. Um, oh, and Gatlinburg. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, what other? What's that Apple Barn Blake loves? Five O. Oh no no the Apple Barn. Yeah, Blake yeah. loves Apple it's Barn. It's super good. He's They've a, got amazing an fritters. Barn. And then across from Tanger, there's a restaurant called yes, Five O. Wait, have you been? Yes. Is it good? Yeah, I went New Year's <gasps> Eve. It's very Stop. good. So much food. I it's love insane. That. 
love that. Okay. Okay. There's a lot. Apparently, we need to collaborate more yeah, on food. Yeah, we do. Um, okay. So this is how you turn it into an ornament, and this would look great on any tree or any area that you need a little a little sprucing up for the holiday season. Um, so yay, we'll make some as ornaments and maybe do candy cane. <gasps> Guys, I was so close to doing candy cane thing last year, but Courtney hates red, so Courtney said no. Oh. I know, but year before that, you all know I did traditional plaid, and that was so special. I love tartan plaid. I love the regular plaid. I mean, there's just something about it. There's something about the regular plaid that you can do um, that we love. Sparkle dumpster. Uh, are the hot glue guns back in stock? I think they were, and they're out of stock They're again. out of stock again. <laughs> we love our Lynn Lily. Someone's, like, had a little confusion using it, but um, ours have always been really good, so we love ours still. Oh, she lives and, in Halls. Okay. Oh, Halls. Oh, cool. That's cool. You're like a Knoxvillian. Um, I love that. So, yay. We, we're in, I mean, I know Becca and I go to Knoxville an uh, obsessive amount. Oh, so, my sister lives in very good. Yeah. So, well, my so, mother-in-law, too. So We have yeah. to. We have to go to the, I have to go to Costco, that I consider that my mall. That's too. your grocery store. It's my grocery store. <laughs> Target, um, so all that things. Martha <gasps> says she worked for Michaels for 11 years and she never had a check. <laughs> That's awesome. I love that. I wouldn't have one either. Imagine all the new hobbies you would develop. No, it would be just horrible. The stuff people buy. Or I mean, you would just buy a bunch of stuff and never actually do it. Because you're working at Michaels. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's really funny. That is. But guys, we've had so much fun making the tags. Becca, are you making tomorrow's project? Or what? what is tomorrow's project? Have we decided? We haven't decided, okay. but I totally can make it. Oh, well, do you know what it is? Nope. <laughs> we have a lot. Of, we have five we options. We have five options. Yeah. So we don't want to overcommit. So I love it. Do they have craft stores at Tanger? Okay, so at our Tanger, they do not have, which we're talking about the Sevierville, Tennessee, outside of Gatlinburg, um, they don't have one in Valley, but near, nearby, they have the Your Scrapbook Superstore. Yeah, It's um, ginormous, and they put a Joann's next to it, so you're... There's a Joann's next to it now? Brand new. What? Yes! That's in Governor's Crossing. Yeah. Yes. So so search search Governor's Crossing. For yes, sure. it's it's literally you have the outlets, you have NASCAR Speed Park, then you have a intersection, and then you have yeah, you have it. You've not been to the Joanne's? No, it's I didn't open, know there was it's one. It's been like three years. I said new. It's not. It opened three years ago. How did that happen? Because the Your Scrapbook Superstore was getting so much good business. Joanne said, um, "We're buying the building." I've next been to in it. that. I've, uh, well, you know, the last time I went there was um, when I was getting ready for my wedding. So fourteen years ago. <laughs> I haven't been to your scrapbook superstore in almost a decade. Seriously, I heard it's went down oh. compared to when it what it was at its peak when they had instructors coming in all the time and things like that. So definitely. Tanner Eileen says I'm from Puerto Rico. Can I join your membership? Of course, it's international. And please email me and let me know how much you love living in Puerto Rico and where you're at because we're wanting to vacation in Puerto Rico very soon. I would love to know any of your uh, Puerto Rican tips. Um, that's so exciting. But yes, we our membership. We have members in Canada, Europe. Australia, Australia, Puerto Rico, there's other members in Puerto Rico. The Philippines. Rico. The Philippines. Like literally, we are international and we have over 7,000 amazing friends in our membership, which means you're able to find over 7,000 like-minded crafters to ask questions to, fellowship with, um, and get access to their ideas as well as yours. So it's truly like a family. And if your family at home is anything like my family at home, they don't even understand what a cricket is. They call it a cry cut. They think I'm talking about a bug that I have an obsession with and it's not the facts. It's a documenting machine. So we would love to have you guys join the membership. We have over 3,000 cut files, the Facebook group, um, 400 plus fonts, and then you get bonus training courses and so much more. So if you guys are interested in joining, go ahead and use that coupon code. Again, the code is MAKE. It's gonna take your price. If you're a monthly member for an entire year, it's almost $240, okay? Regular price year membership is $191. Today's coupon code is going to get it down to $171, and you're not going to have to worry about that fee again for a full $365. So lots of savings, lots of fun, and you're going to be a member all through the holiday season. We're starting Christmas today, and we're going to be doing Christmas until December 25th. You know we have a lot of awesome ideas, um, so we love it. Tara's coming to Tennessee. Listen, everybody just needs to come to Gallenberg. We Take will... some Claritin or Zyrtec or some... uh, essential oils. Some, well, essential oil it up. Essential Do something oil it up. to help with your allergies. Yes, 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 yes. Tanner, didn't you get bags and bags of stuff at Joann's last Christmas? Linda, I got bags and bags of stuff from Target, Joann's, Hobby Lobby, Michael's. Which time are we talking about? You got bags of ribbon from Joann's. <gasps> that is what we did. <laughs> yes. I, because their ribbon was too good of a deal yeah. to pass up. 
You are so much so. We did a haul. Yeah. That was one of It was right before first, I started. Yeah. No, yeah. I think you were there. No, I wasn't there for the ribbon. You already had the ribbon when I got here. But we did the haul video while you were there. No, because you decorated the No, you did two haul videos. Because there was so much hauling. <laughs> My second day here, we went to Knoxville. Yes! And we went to Target. And we, and we went, went to, to... That was your second day? Mm -hmm. What a blessed second day. Uh, no, and we haven't done it since. <laughs> we went to Nama. We went to Nama. And it was heaven. It w I remember that day. It was glorious. We need to recreate that day. We have a lot to celebrate. 200,000 subscribers. Yeah, your birthday, Rachel's birthday. And we have to get there before my birthday so we can do something different. Well, let's go next week. Done? Okay. I'm excited. Tell, tell Rachel. <laughs> I will. Somebody let Rachel know. <laughs> She'll uh, be excited. Yes. No, she won't. She'll vomit in your car on the way there. That only happened one time. <laughs> and you Maybe I'll there. drive. I can drive. <laughs> she actually says my new car doesn't do that to her. I know. You're right. You are right. I was not there. You're right. <laughs> Um, will you, will we be doing some Thanksgiving projects? That's a great question. We <laughs> do take a few days out of October, November and do a few fall more towards Thanksgiving. We do a lot of fall in September. We have some, some coming out this month. There are awesome cut falls for Thanksgiving coming out. So that's a great, um, that's a great thing to remember. Um, but yes. So you lost connection. Yes, you will be able to join the membership, my friend. I also said if you have any suggestions on vacationing in Puerto Rico to let me know on Instagram because I would love to connect with you so or Facebook um, so yay I love it I love it but there's so many good projects going on if you're a cricket newbie check out the membership if you love your cricket and you want to join the membership definitely take advantage this week of the Christmas in July sale because we'd love to have you um, and there's a lot of goodness going on so Becca what else do we have did you used to have a manual transmission car I get car sick in those no so um, I just thought what would you consider my Highlander just a regular yeah just a regular car it was automatic it was automatic yeah could you I could not drive stick. Okay. I, I couldn't drive stick. Now I have electric cars, so it's, a, it's just a, like a different uh, situation. But um, we love it. Hi, Eileen. Um, but yes, so much fun, and we love it. So I've only driven through the state. Y'all make it sound so much fun. I really... I do love Tennessee. I love Tennessee. Yeah. Like, I love, I love big cities. Like, I love to, to vacation in New York, and I, yep. I don't love beaches, but, like, I like yeah. to experience, like, the cities and, totally. and, and towns and all of that. But when I drive back into Tennessee, mm -hmm. like, of course my nose starts dripping because of the allergies, but it's just so beautiful, guys. It really... It's gorgeous. It's beautiful here. I love the people. And most everyone is so friendly. I love the people. Yeah. I love... In Morristown, where we live, um, it's a very small town I would consider it so it's easy to drive in if when I spend a day in Knoxville I get home and first of all you've probably shopped a bunch but you're just exhausted from the traffic and in Morristown you really don't have that or really right. any of the smaller cities you really don't have that here um and things like that taking my third trip to Nashville I love Nashville I, love Nashville. Oh I don't know if I'd go in August <laughs> We're, what are you talking about? We're going to Atlanta. Their COVID count is like 17,000 or don't something. Look, please do not look at Atlanta. I'm not. I'm going to wear like a respirator and a full hazmat suit when we go to Atlanta. <laughs> don't think I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be good. So, yes, I love it. You, We are so far east. We're actually in a different time zone than Nashville. People think we're not next to Nashville. It's definitely It's only four hours. Only, but, yeah. but still quite a bit. Yeah. Um, it's definitely not an easy day trip or anything. So um, definitely have to commit two or three days. But anyway, guys, I hope you had so much fun making this turn into a Christmas ornament or you can turn it into a gift tag. So many great options. We cannot wait to see what you guys do. Thank you guys so much for attending the summit this weekend. It is so much fun fun um and it's all going to be really good oh megan do not stay in the condo go get you just I, wash your hands wash your hands you know get ready wear a mask wear a mask um go to milk and honey i've never been there either you you talk about all these places and you've taken all these friends all these places except me Becca. We're going to have a chat after the line, probably. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. You know I'm down for Nashville. I know, anytime. I know you Because are. Nashville has a crate and barrel now. Oh, whoa. Yeah. I've only been one time, and I bought everything for my Thanksgiving table spread because I had no serving one. Oh, I remember that. Remember you that? But you got some amazing deals crate on Crate and that. Barrel is like, I, I call Crate and Barrel Ikea Plus. Yeah. Because you get a better experience with the staff. I've never been to a bad Crate and Barrel. 
Well, and the style's a little different. A little different. Yeah. So, yeah, a lot of, a lot of fun. Wait, a company Nashville trip, Blake says. Blake Long. <laughs> Uh, Blake is now coming in. He's like, don't leave it out of me. Have you been to M Milk and Honey? No. You, uh, you've never been See, to, you've never, never truly either. been to Nashville. I've never truly been to <gasps> I love Nashville. The last time I was there was when I met Kat Von D. Do you okay. know who Kat Von D is? I don't know. You don't love tattoos. I don't know anything about tattoos. Okay. Um, wait, before we go, I have one last thing to share. Let's hear it. Because I think you're go freak. Um, I hope I sent the link. Okay. It's a TikTok. It is a, okay. oh, 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 sorry, 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 sorry. Look at this, it's an ice cream. Chocolate chip cookies, they turn into ice cream sandwiches. Yes, you make your own ice cream sandwich. Look at this. You can get it in a cup or a cone. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Flavors. I personally picked a dark look, chocolate that they had. Look at about this. 10 or 11, as well as a limited edition. Oh my gosh. You can always pick toppings to go on the side and then get your food heated up if you want. Overall, look at this. Is a super neat little vibe. It's brand I new. That's adorable. Where is that? Street. On Division it's Street. Like, I mean, so much fun. Nine out of ten, she's go come back. Yeah, it's on Division Street. Yeah, it's so funny, the stuff. Like, oh, <laughs> and are you like, you're dead <laughs> silent? And you're like, I want a road trip to Nashville. <laughs> so yes, we, I love, I love, I love, I love Nashville. You have to go to Milk and Honey. They have great coffee. They have great breakfast. They have great lunch. It's really good. Um, I popped a tire there the other, like last year. <laughs> And then I proceeded to pop two tires in one week in the office, so that was fun. And I've yet to let him live it down. Yeah, Becca had mm -hmm. to follow me to the mechanic shop. Uh, but yes, uh, Becca loves Cat. Her tattoos are the best. Becca, love Cat. Oh, who's Cat? Cat Von D. I think, like, she's huge. She's like the one of the biggest names in tattoo artists. Do you know who Cat Von D is? Oh my gosh, it's because you're we a live kid. In Rock. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun. Wow. But, okay, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. We've had so much fun. Uh, definitely share with us. Okay, we have plenty of backup plans. Exactly, exactly. Yes. Um, so much fun. So if you guys have any other questions, be sure to reach out to customer service. Hi at makersgonnalearn.com, and we'll see you back here tomorrow at 1.30. Bye, my friends.